Hi again everyone, Scott Player Popcorn Fan here, and in this video, uh, the new World by Night special I dropped the other day, wait, no it was yesterday, uh, and I did watch it, I think I actually watched it at midnight Thursday night, so, uh, <laughs> but I do, it's still pretty fresh in my mind, and I think what they did with it was very unique and different. Werewolf by Night, it was very inspired by the classic Universal Monster movies of the 1930s and 40s. You could, I really definitely felt that watching it. And for those of you that don't know, this is a special, which is different to a movie. And it's also different to a, like an episode of television. I mean, essentially, it is an episode of television, but it's like 55 minutes long. So... It's longer than a regular episode of television, but it's shorter than a movie, and it's only a one-off. There's not, like, another episode coming out or anything, but it's just th its own little package of goodness, I guess you could say, of this character. And one thing I was surprised about with this special was that I thought it was going to be an origin story, like, taking place in the 1930s or 40s. Uh, it wasn't that, actually. It actually took place in modern day. Just the tech that they used, you know, they filmed it in black and white, which I thought was pretty cool. But it took place in modern day. There were, you, there were references to the Avengers. So it is connected to the larger world. And I really liked what they did with uh, the character of Elsa. She wasn't exactly a romantic interest, but I liked how they used her character in this thing. And also, you have the main character, Jack, who... Yeah, like, at first, I thought this could be an origin story for Jack and how he becomes the werewolf. But I guess he was already the werewolf beforehand. Um, we're just seeing him, his character, for the first time in this. And it was just very interesting to see. And I, very, very violent. This is probably the most violent thing you'll ever see in the MCU. Uh-huh. Uh, it's kind of Marvel's first attempt at horror, the MCU. Uh, I mean, granted, uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness also had a lot of elements of horror, but this was like straight up horror, you know, uh, obviously, because it's a monster film, uh, or not, not film, it's a special, but very inspired by those older films, and I really enjoyed it. I definitely think that some people that want something unique and different with the MCU will really enjoy this. It was really um, good. I loved the scenes when he was the werewolf. Just, <laughs> it was really cool um, just with the way he was, you know, taking out all those people. <laughs> and also the transformation scene, that was really cool. thought they did a pretty good job with that. And... Really well done. Um, I thought it was great. So if I had to give a grade for this uh, special, I'd probably give it probably give it an A, A minus. That'd be my grade for this special. So, you know, in regards to this, like, and yes, this is the first special, but it's not the only one because they're also gonna do this Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special um, um, closer to December. So. We'll get more of these kinds of things in the future. <laughs> and, and that's very interesting and very cool. Um, I really enjoyed it. So yeah, uh, that should do it for this video. A bit of a shorter one, but I don't know, it's just not too much to talk about. I really enjoyed it. And it's not a full episode of television, so there's not as much to say. And it's not a f full movie. But it was really good. Really enjoyed it. Very unique and different. And what was also cool in this episode was seeing not just the werewolf, but also this other creature, uh, this other monster um, called Man-Thing, which is in fact a character in the comics. And Man-Thing, um, I liked what they did with that character. They named him a normal human name, Ted. <laughs> but it was interesting because I know the character of Swamp Thing from DC, and I'm pretty sure Man-Thing was like very similar very similar to Swamp Thing from DC. So it's interesting to see this character um, in this as well and how this character like um, connected to um, Jack the werewolf 
they were fr they were they were close like they were actually friends it was kind of funny to see him interacting with uh man thing <laughs> it was kind of a funny banter between the two of them throughout the episode i thought that was really cool and also um just very <laughs> intriguing as to how they got get got along so well very fascinating and i just really enjoyed this episode or not episode but special it was nice overall it was just very refreshing too because also this month october you know <laughs> werewolves vampires all that stuff and getting ready for that halloween season especially with this kicking off the month at the beginning so very cool and that should do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one peace